the centre of the dispute, a proposed change to the working pattern for baggage handlers. The first strike will be on Wednesday. If nothing changes after that, they'll be out again early on Saturday morning for 48 hours. And then, for even more days, over the Jubilee Bank holiday weekend. Passengers are being warned to expect disruption, although some airlines say it won't make any difference. Gareth George is at Stansted. Well, Jubilee celebrations normally involve flags on street parties. You don't usually associate them with bouts of industrial action. But baggage handlers have announced seven days of strikes, as you say, four of them between June the 2nd and June the 6th. And that is the Queen's Diamond Jubilee weekend. A fly past. The Queen's Jubilee party has begun. But here at Stansted, there may not be much cause for celebration, because over the Jubilee weekend itself, between June the 2nd and June the 6th, baggage handlers are going on strike. Well, of course you aren't going to strike on a, a wet Tuesday in February when nobody will notice. You will exercise your right to industrial action at the time when there's going to be an awful lot of people travelling. And clearly, over the Jubilee weekend, that is going to have uh, quite an impact on passengers. Baggage handlers here are angry about changes to their rosters, changes the GMB union believes will lead to a cut in pay. Baggage handlers are employed by a company called Swissport. It said, we are asking our employees now to work a five-day week rather than a four-day week. We are not cutting people's pay. We are not increasing the amount of hours they work. We are keeping people in jobs. Passengers on flight this morning seem to have little sympathy for the baggage handlers and said the timing of the strikes over the Jubilee weekend was unfortunate. In terms of choosing the worst possible days, that's I, I agree they should be allowed to go on strike, but I mean, in terms of timing those days, that just seems over the top. I think they're just blackmailing the authorities, aren't they? Really? That's, you know, I, really, I don't think they should do that. Thank you. The country's in a state, we all need to pull together, and I just think it's really sad that we have this industrial action going on all around the country. News of the strikes comes after recent concerns about the length of queues at passport control. This picture was taken by a passenger. But BAA, the company that runs Stansted, says it has contingency plans and says it's not expecting the strikes to cause disruption. Meanwhile, the Conservative politician Baroness Varsi has already accused the GMB union of trying to ruin the Jubilee weekend. Well, Baroness Varsi actually said the unions were trying to ruin the Jubilee weekend for hard-working families, and she's urged Ed, uh, Ed Miliband, the, the Labour leader, to condemn the strikes. There's been the usual robust response from the airline Ryanair. It's described the strikes as unjust and unfair. It says, though, that it refuses to be blackmailed. No flights will be cancelled on strike days, but it's likely that passengers may just be able to check in hand luggage. But unless there's a breakthrough here at Stansted, there'll be strikes over the Jubilee weekend.